Hey, hello everyone! Welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I'm Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another video of this new series of video that I have started, and the name of the series is Question of the Week. And as you know, in this new series of videos, I used to pick up one of such questions that you guys are asking me in the YouTube comments or maybe the LinkedIn and Instagram. So I used to pick up one such question every week and try to answer in detail, so that. Other people who also have similar kind of questions, they will have a detailed answer. Now, without any delay, let's first see what is the question of this week. The question is: How can a tier three student manage everything in M Tech after cracking gate? And what if that student doesn't even know how to read research paper and find out after joining IIT or ISC that research is not his or her cup of tea? Then what to do in that scenario? First of all, thanks for this question. It's really an interesting question, and I'll try to answer this question in two part. In the first part, I'll tell you that if a tier two or tier three student can crack gate with a decent score and join IITs and ISC for their M Tech, then how he or she can manage everything there and how they can deal with the pressure that is there uh, for the M Tech curriculum. And the second part, I'll talk about research. That you know how you will learn how to read research paper and what to do. If you found out the research is not your cup of tea, then what to do uh, during your M Tech? So first, let's talk about that. How being a Tier Three college student or Tier Two college student, you can manage everything during your M Tech days in IITs and ISC, and how you can deal with the extreme force pressure that is there in IITs and ISC. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to be well prepared before joining M Tech in these IITs and ISC. And for that, once you you crack the gate exam with a very decent rank or with a good rank. And once you know that with your rank you'll be able to go into some IIT and ISC and your selection is kind of confirmed, then you know whatever days will be remaining before you are joining to that particular IIT or ISC. So in those free time, try to prepare for the M Tech. Now, what do what do we mean by preparing for M Tech is that try to study all those prerequisite subjects. So, for example, if you are joining M Tech in AI program. Then try to cover up all those prerequisite subjects like linear algebra, probability, optimization, calculus, and also suppose you are from computer science, then you know you can prepare for the algorithmic proofs because you know algorithmic proofs are not needed during your gate preparation. So after you crack gate, uh, before joining M Tech uh, in IIT and ISC, try to see how you can prove an algorithm because that will be needed during your M Tech uh, in IIT and ISC. Start. You know, practicing coding because you know Python coding or C plus plus coding will play a huge role during your placement. And even if you if you credit some course in IIT and ISC, there also you need to do a lot of coding. So that's why if you are not good in coding or maybe you don't know how to code in Python, so start preparing them whatever free time that you are getting after your get result is out and before joining IIT and ISC. So actually, what will happen if you prepare for these things? You know, you, your life in IIT and ISC will be a bit easier because you are you don't need to you know cover all of these things after joining IIT and ISC because these things you already know. Next is once you join these premium institutions like IIT and ISC, you need to build up the habit of regular and consistent study. One of the main issue with Tier Two and Tier Three college student is that they love to study before the exam and pass the exam, but that concept won't hold in IIT or ISC system. Here, what is being taught in the class every week, you need to cover those concepts at home within that week only, and you shouldn't keep anything from the for the next week because next week again a lot of stuff will be covered in the class. So that's why if you don't read regularly and don't complete everything that is being taught in the class within that week, then you can't manage everything after a few weeks. So if you keep on saying that I'll cover it in the next week and then again next week, after a few weeks you will see there are a lot of things to study, a lot of things to complete. And then you know it's not possible for you to manage everything. So that's why what is being taught in the class, try to cover or try to complete all of those things within that week. And for that, a regular study habit is needed. Now there will be different assignments that will be given to you uh, in these different courses that you'll be crediting, and start as early as possible solving those assignments because there could be theoretical assignments where you need to do a lot of theoretical proofs. There can be coding or programming assignments where you need to do a lot of programming. Uh, to solve a particular questions, and that's why you need sufficient amount of time to solve those, uh, you know, assignments. So that's why if you start early, then you have enough amount of time to think about it, and you can analyze different corner cases, which can be tricky because typically these assignments that is given in IIT and ISC they are not so straightforward. You need to think about it. You need to invest proper time behind the assignment, and then only you'll be able to solve them. 
so that's why if you give uh, if you start early and suppose uh, you know you have some time to solve this particular assignment then only you, you'll be able to solve it completely so typically you know two to three or to maximum four weeks should be given to solve a particular assignment so that's why if you solve it in parts maybe in the first week you solve a, a part of the assignment in the next week you solve another part of the assignment and then you found uh, something that's very tricky then maybe you discuss with your friend and so another part so this is how if you approach the uh, assignments, then it will be easier for you to solve uh, all the questions in the assignments and you can you can uh, score full marks in the assignment. On the other hand, if you start late, then you will always be in a hurry. You don't you will not have enough amount of time to think and and you know analyze uh, different questions that is being asked in the assignment. You will be in a hurry to solve it within the deadline. So I will always recommend that you start early so that you get enough amount of time to solve each of the question that is asked in that set. And the next important thing is try to form a study group among yourself and try to study together. You know, in this IIT and IIC system, it's very demanding and challenging uh, for any individual to manage everything. So, and here your friend's help will be needed. So whatever is being taught in the class or whatever different assignments that is being, you know, asked uh, by the professor to solve, you can discuss among yourself and try to understand. You know, from the discussion, actually, what will happen is that few concepts you, you will understand easily uh, from the discussion. Maybe some of your friends understood it very well. Uh, he or she will help you to understand that particular concept. Maybe assignment is given to you. You are not able to understand what is being asked in the assignment. You are struggling for that. But maybe uh, your friend had uh, had understood it. So then uh, he or she will help you to understand. It can happen reverse also. Maybe you have understood a particular concept. You may help your uh, friends to understand it. So this kind of, you know, kind of uh, study group kind of concept will be really helpful for you during your MTech days that uh, you will learn together, you will excel together. The similar kind of thing I have also uh, followed during my MTech days in ISC that we also formed a very small group uh, where we have to discuss about different concepts that is being covered in the class. We used to solve assignments together and even the placement time also it helped me that, you know, I learned a lot of things from my uh, co-students who was part of the study group. So try to form a study group so that it will be helpful for you throughout the two years of your MTech curriculum. Finally, I'll tell you, don't give up. Uh, obviously, things are not that easy. Uh, in these IIT and IIC system, life will not be that easy. And that's quite obvious because you are no longer attached to a tier three college students. You have joined IIT and IIC. You have raised your bar. And that demands a lot from you now. So you have to work really hard and you shouldn't give up um, on yourself. Uh, believe me, 90 to 95% students who have, who have will be joining with you in these uh, institutions for, for MTech, they also will be on the same boat. They also will be struggling. So that's why, you know, everybody will be in the same situation. There will be two to three people who are super brilliant. They won't be suffering that much, but rest, as I said, 95 to 96% students will be suffering. So that's why don't give up. Uh, keep on working hard. And this experience, this two years experience of dealing with this kind of pressure, will actually be helpful for you for your near future. Now, finally, we'll talk about the research part, what is being asked by Sonal, that what if uh, you don't know how to read research paper and what if you realized after joining IITs and ISC that you are not at all interested in doing research, then what you should do? First of all, regarding research paper, most of the students who will be joining MTEG in IITs and ISC, they don't have any prior experience of reading research paper because in diet two at diet three colleges, if you have done your undergraduate or PTEC, most likely you haven't read any research paper during your PTEC. So that's why uh, once you join IITs and ISC, when you will be creating different research oriented course or maybe you will be doing your research project during your MTEC final year project, then only you will learn how to read research paper. So you shouldn't be worried about reading research paper. That is something that you will be learning uh, as a part of your MTEC curriculum. Now, next part is even after you know how to read research paper, you are you are feeling that you research is not your cup of tea. Then what you should do? Then also pretty simple and sim, uh, you know kind of straightforward thing that nobody in IIT and ISC will force you to do research. These are research institutions that I agree, but no professor will force you to do research here. If you are interested, then obviously you can do research. But if you are not interested. Uh, then you can choose to have a job during your MTEC and then just graduate uh, with your MTEC degree from IIT and ISC. And many students used to do this. I think most of the students uh, who uh, who join MTEC for only job, they prefer to you know prepare for the placement, have a good job from the placement, and 
uh, and and in graduate without a degree and even professor also know about it they also don't put much pressure uh, to the mtech students because they know that mtech is a very short term curriculum where first year is only dedicated for uh, course crediting even in many iits or even iisc also in the second year also there will be some courses that you have to credit so professor also understands that you know it's very difficult for a mtech student to fully dedicate uh, for the research so they they also don't demand much so let's say if you are not interested to research you can simply go for the job and once you got the job you can simply graduate from the iit and iisc with the mtech degree yeah, so that's it about this uh, another video of of the question of the uh, week series i hope you like this video and let me know if you have any any such kind of questions that you need uh, a detailed discussion about and i will choose maybe that question in my next video and i i discuss in detail about it uh, so if you like this video please hit the like button and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload new video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye